Hello, this is Pastor Don, pastor of Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida. And it's Wednesday morning, September the 9th. Here we are, uh, continuing on with our daily scripture readings, trying to find those words of wisdom and inspiration that uh, will guide us into a more positive frame of mind. Uh, we have this rich heritage of, of scriptural teachings that uh, have sustained humanity for 2,000 years. And uh, too often in this modern time, we're, we're distracted by temporal things, by those which surround us right now that are troublesome. All of the uh, social unrest that we unfortunately are experiencing, the natural disasters, the fires, the, the storms, um, and it all seems just too much. But uh, when we feel that way, it's definitely the time to turn to Scripture to look for something a little more uplifting and a little more positive. I want to welcome those of you who are watching maybe for the first time uh, on either Facebook or YouTube. It's uh, a pleasure to be able to reach out as far and as wide as we're able to. And uh, if you are watching on Facebook, it's always uh, helpful if you would indicate in the comments where you're watching from. And if you're watching on YouTube, it's always uh, very helpful if you would hit the subscribe button. The more people that we have subscribing, the further uh, we're able to reach with these messages. So thanks again for joining in this morning. And it's time now for us to read from Ephesians in the fourth chapter, verses 29 through 32. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. Well, criticism, you know, there is constructive criticism, which is intended for correction, and none of us should be averse to hearing it. Constructive criticism helps us to, to grow and helps us to understand uh, where we're right thinking and where we're not. Uh, hopefully, cr constructive criticism is something that we freely engage in and freely uh, receive. On the other hand, criticism by itself um, has the tendency to tear down. And that's why Paul tells us not to criticize people because it tears them down. Um, instead, allow people to be encouraged. Use our words to build people up. I remember when um, our kids were in elementary school, there was a particular teacher, I've forgotten where and for, for which child, but the teacher uh, always said, build up, build up, build up. Uh, I have never forgotten that. And I think that is especially helpful for us today, particularly when we are surrounded by so much negative criticism. It's, we can't escape it, it's, it's everywhere. But uh, if we, as Christians, can follow what we're told in this scripture and elsewhere to be grace bearers, to be people who lift up with our language, to encourage people, to be Barnabases, to be those who uh, are concerned about others' state of mind and do everything that we can to, to build them up and to encourage them. And by doing so, I think, cumulatively, we have the impact of uh, making society a better place. Imagine what it would be like if you were given uh, words of encouragement every day by somebody. How would you feel? Wouldn't it make you feel uh, uplifted and positive? Well, that's the message in our scripture today. So the next time you feel like criticizing somebody, Instead, stop and think about what words you choose and whether or not your construction, your, your criticism is constructive uh, and whether or not it serves to encourage and 
to build up. I think that's our call as Christians, to be encouraging one to the other. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for these words of wisdom, for this simple reminder that uh, we are to encourage one another, to build each other up, just as Christ has built us up. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we're always grateful that we have the opportunity to turn to your words of grace, your words of assurance. So Lord, encourage us multiple times throughout the day to turn to your word, to seek assurance, to fend off all the negative stuff that's around us and, and bathe ourselves in the word that Jesus Christ gave to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Father, um, I know I run the risk of, of sounding like a broken record on this issue of being spared from COVID-19, the pandemic, but I ask, Lord, that you would uh, continue to hear these prayers, to answer them, and that a vaccine would one day soon be coming. In the meantime, protect us. Protect those who are the caregivers. Protect those who are the first responders. Protect those who are the firefighters in the fires out on the, the West Coast. Uh, protect those who are serving to try to help people rebuild from the devastation of storms. Father, as you have built us up, let us build them up, not only by our words, but by our deeds, if we are able. In Jesus' name we pray. Thanks for taking a minute to uh, hear these words today, and I hope they land on your heart with uh, encouragement and I hope that they do build you up and I hope they do set a, a course for your day that's the purpose of doing this and we'll continue to do it as we have for the past five plus months uh, even after we reopen our church a day which is coming relatively soon on a limited basis so we look to the future with hope we look to the future with encouragement and we look to the future of Jesus Christ being active every day for every moment in our lives. Thanks again for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.